Over the past few weeks, Teresa Judice, one of the stars of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, has opened up about the future of her daughter Gia Judice's education, specifically just which colleges have accepted the 17-year-old. On December 9, 2018, Teresa Judice revealed on her Instagram stories that the first college that accepted Gia was Connecticut's Quinnipiac University, as reported by Bravo's The Daily Dish. Just days later, on December 13, Teresa shared some more good news. Gia had also received acceptance letters from the University of Alabama, Penn State, and the University of Scranton. They call it Scranton! What? The Electric City! Scranton! What? The Electric City! Teresa had previously remarked on her oldest daughter's education in a video for Bravo published in November 2018. Looking at colleges, it's, it's, I'm not like trying to hold her back. Like I want her to go and I want her to experience it. I think it's going to be amazing. The reality TV star shared that Gia would like to stay local so she'll likely be seeing her daughter fairly often. She also noted that Gia is, quote, very mature, very grounded, and knows what she wants. In a video published a year earlier, Teresa revealed that Gia was considering pursuing a career in law. Sometimes things happen for a reason, like, you know, because of everything that Joe and I have been through, and I think that's the reason why she picked law. And um, I can't wait to see what Gia becomes when she gets older. As fans of The Real Housewives of New Jersey may already know, Teresa and her husband, Joe Judice, were found guilty in 2014 on charges of mail, wire, and bankruptcy fraud. Teresa was sentenced to 15 months in prison, while Joe received 41 months. Teresa served her time behind bars first, surrendering herself to prison for what was ultimately 11 months. After she was released early in December 2015, it was Joe's turn to serve his time. You either learn two things in there. You either learn how to become a criminal or a better person. So I'm going to try to become a better person. But unfortunately for the Judice family, Teresa and Joe's prison sentences weren't the worst thing to come out of their conviction. In October 2018, Pennsylvania's York Immigration Court announced that Joe would be deported after he's released from prison. Immigration judge John Ellington reportedly ruled that Joe would be sent back to Italy after his release on March 14, 2019. Joe has lived in the United States since he was a child. He shared on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa checks in, I was a year old when I came here. My parents are citizens. My brother and sister are citizens. They were born here. I just never thought to file for citizenship. Gia later commented on Joe's reported deportation on Instagram. Sharing an old photo of herself with her dad, she wrote, My father is no threat to society. He is one of the most warm-hearted people I know. He would never harm a soul. He puts everyone else before himself. Noting that she and her family have lots of plans for when Joe is released from prison, she added, I need my father to be here. My father belongs with us and his entire family. Maybe with Gia Judice's future in law, she can help keep her family together in one country or prevent the same thing from happening to other families. But we're sure that no matter what Gia decides to do, both Joe and Teresa Judice will be proud of her and the future she creates for herself. And maybe Teresa will share her daughter's progress on social media and on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, so we can all follow along.